Guitar parody. So my name is Mick, and I am Pete. Welcome to Alice's TV. We're looking at some pedals today. Indeed, we are we pedals are. that I haven't seen before. No, me neither. Uh, from a company called Function FX. Function FX in America. Oh, it is America, is it? Yeah. Yeah. That's kind of all I could figure out. Uh, yeah. It doesn't really say on the website. It's so a country in between Mexico and Canada. Ah, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> is it? It's a big one. It's roughly you know, where it is. The yeah. one with that guy Trump. Excuse me. Don't even go there. Don't even go there. Yeah, and some other there. people, and lots of other people. <coughs> yeah. um, okay, so uh, Lee was very, uh, the captain was very fizzy about these pedals. Yeah. Said he was plugged in the other day, really loved them, so could we give him a look? Exactly. Uh, the answer is yes. Of course. Cool. Uh, so, Cluster Fuzz. Cluster Fuzz. Which is a little bit of a. Anyway, let's move on. Yeah. Um, fuzz pedal, lots of options. We'll come on to that in a sec. And yeah. the third rail, which is a dual overdrive, so two overdrives. In one box, and both of them—they're not based off of designs that you might know. It's not like a, a fuzz face ripoff or a, a big muff ripoff or anything like that, or you know, tube screamer, tube screamer clone. <laughs> um, they've really got their own thing going on, they and very interesting it is too. Yep. Uh, should we start with the overdrive? Let's start with the overdrive. Always okay. Good to start with an overdrive. So uh, they—the guys at Function FX started out um, designing an overdrive pedal, and they kind of. Started with half an overdrive pedal, well, yeah. a whole overdrive pedal, in fact, um, and decided they liked it so much they'd put two in one box. So that's what's happening. You've got two of an identical circuit in one box. However, yeah. the only difference is uh, this side has a gain boost, yeah, and this side has a bass cut. Okay, but that's so, that's cool. So it's exactly the same other than that. Yeah, which interestingly uses NPN transistors uh, instead of FETs or other types of. Which is probably the, the the most common transistor, isn't it? The FET transistor. Uh, is it? Do you know, I'm, I, I'll be honest with you, mate. I'm on thin ice there. Yeah, me too. Uh, I don't really not, know, but uh, uh, there's so many. It's not an op amp like you would get in um, a tube screamer, and it's not an FET. It's an NPN, which is a different thing. So okay. There we go. All right. And in addition to that, use, uses uh, various 
stages of diodes, uh, or clipping in fact, yep. done by diodes, and you can set them to different... Um, anyway, look, this is too much information. Pete, play, yes. okay. play the guitar. Play the guitar. I was just, before we play, because I, I was reading that it's, it can do different things as well here, so you can, it can be two separate ones, that you can stack on top of each other, you can have this as a one, uh, if, you, if you hold them down and you turn it on, it, you can kind of swap, so you get one master bypass, and one could be like a kick it in and out and yeah and, you, you can know, configure the foot switches to to either that's be where i was going on off yeah on off or you can go on off for the whole pedal and then this one toggles between the two yeah uh, or one that could just be a momentary momentary yeah. moment momentary area yeah, which is really cool yeah. anyway as you play you know so let's do that i'm gonna do some back at the moment i am going into the fender Fender hot, fender hot rod fender hot rod locks uh this is mick favorite chord it is a g chord <laughs> Completely clean, bit of uh, reverb. Then that's just sort of a clip, that, is it? Yeah, I'll explain that. If you just play, yeah. play them a second. Okay. So is that three stages in there? Yeah, so yeah. What, what you're hearing there, so the... Um, the aforementioned NPN transistors are, yep. cr are creating the uh, level boost. Um, and then what then happens is that goes into a clipping stage and that's done with diodes. Now, all the way over on the left here is something called a shot key diode. Okay. Diodes, um, which is the maximum amount of sustain and compression, which is what you've heard. In the middle, uh, it went very loud. And I think the middle position is probably no clipping. Yeah, I, I, that's headroom. what it sounded like to me, yeah, and then, maximum. Then the other position is uh, a silicon, um, uh, normal silicon diode yeah. for clipping. So again, we'll just we'll show. Uh, it's a bit difficult because when you've got amps mic'd up and you've got the level set, that the amount of jump in level there is enormous. So we'll yeah. just have to try and be a little bit careful about yeah. that. But so let's start again with the let's start with no clipping. Okay, let's see what that does. Very from very sort of just clipping to yeah. So if you if you if you're a fan of um, a very hard feeling drive under the fingers, you don't like loads of sustain and compression. Yeah, that's just that's going to push it push it nicely. Very natural. Does. Yeah, no. And then right at the end there, I switch to the um, maximum shock. compression, which is the shock key. Uh, that. The diode, the shock key diodes doing the clipping there. Yeah, um, and then uh, silicon diodes doing less clipping, so it's kind yeah. of in between. So it's you can, you hear, like the, it, you can really. hear the compression definitely. That's yeah. uh, that's a lot. That's just one channel still. Yeah, and of course, here's, I'll just put the bass the bass cut on and off. Okay, so uh, let's see. Uh,
<laughs> yeah, kind of subtle with that with that guitar. Yeah, let's try it with this let's one. Start, let's try with the uh, Stratons. And to those of you who might go, oh, what is that? It is actually tuned. Yeah, because we've got fuzz coming up, I thought E-flat yeah. might be more appropriate for yeah. the Strat there. Nice, so I think the bass cut was much more apparent with the Strat there. Oh, much more. Yeah. And that's, I, I would I would suspect that's kind of, that's what I would use it for anyway. I would kind of go, because uh, I use I use the Muller, for instance, which you know as well. It's yeah. got a little sort of low end sort of switch, which is a similar thing on a single coil, hit it in. Get a bit more more low end into the single coil. Yeah, so or take it out if you're if you're in a, a you know humbucker. Yeah, because yeah, things can get really muddy, can't they? Can get very muddy, so you can kind of take it out. Or put and it in. you know, depending what amp you're using as well, you you might need it. Com yeah, um, I agree. Actually, can you just switch between? So we've got Hot Rod Deluxe, and we've also got JTM Forty Five here. Yeah. Could you just I can. switch? Nice, nice bit of mid push yeah, going on there. Exactly. Right, uh, so that's that's side one. Let's go to side two. It should sound pretty much the same. So let's try that a minute. Uh, set these things the same. We'll put the gain switch off. And clip, clip it over. over there. Uh, that's the same, isn't it? Pretty much. Yeah. Let's just see. Huh. A little brighter. Yeah. What was that? Then? I ah. in the bass I in the bassier setting. So they do there you go, just to prove that again, they do sound quite similar. Okay. Uh That's a bit more midi. Similar but not exactly the same. Yeah. Okay, so and then here's the gain, here's the gain boost. Switch me over to the Marshall while I'm playing, can you? Okay, yeah. That's a nice sound, I like that sound. It's kind of subtle. There's a lot, Nothing wrong with that. There's a lot in there. A, a lot huge going on. amount of um, 
a huge amount of options of uh, as much attack as you want, but also as much compression yeah. as you want. Yeah. It's certainly not an overly bright sounding pedal. Um, no. How, how bright? Where have you got the tone? Yeah, so the tone so is Hang on, let me just check something a bit. Okay. Let me just check something. Would you like Marshall or Fender? Don't mind. Stay in the Marshall. Don't mind. Yeah, so when that is really nice. I really like that. It's okay, so this always happens with um, with pedals that have got a lot of controls. Yeah, it really does take quite a bit of tweakeroo. It does, doesn't it? Doesn't it to get you to that place that you want to be? Yeah, well, we've had that before with some other pedals we've done. We kind of we go, and then all of a sudden, there it is. Light bulb. There it is. Yeah, yeah. that's cool. Being able to stack both sides, yeah. having the different clipping options. Um, cool. That's nice, isn't it? And very different. So, uh, you know. A very different pedal, like, yeah. Like we said at the top, it's not trying to be some kind of clone of something. No, or a clone, clone. Yeah. Or anything else. It's, it's just its own thing. No, but there's a lot of that. Um, you know, at one point it was sounding kind of MIDI and. and yeah. Not exactly like a tube screw, but MIDI. Yeah. And then at other points it was sounding. It's sort of almost into very light fuzz. Yeah. But it's not a, it's not a, it's not a distortion pedal, is it? Or not that I can hear. It's not. It, it doesn't have the. That no. is just a nice. I mean, the combination of that uh, NPN transistors and the and the diode clipping, diodes and those that seems stuff. to Lovely. seems to do a nice thing. Right. right. So uh, moving on to the cluster fuzz. Cluster then, fuzz. Pierre. Yeah. Right. Um, so okay, yeah. Play. I'll just play. Play the guitar. Shall I just play? Play the guitar. I'm in the mask. Play the guitar. Whoa! Hello. So there is what is it four five five yeah. modes there? Yeah. So hence the cluster. Yes, a bit similar to the to the third rail. You've got you can select um, what's doing the clipping there. Yeah. So all the way back here, no clipping. No clipping diodes. LED doing the clipping. Yeah. Uh, an FET, which is a transistor. MOSFET. Uh, yeah. MOSFET silicon. Transistor. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Um, then a silicon one. Yeah. Uh, and then this one is back to our um, shot key. Shot key, yeah, which I had shot key? again. Shot it's key. A, a shocking admission, but I hadn't heard of before. Anyway, the the, the shot key um, uh, has the diodes have the highest amount of compression and clip, and then we go back from there, obviously to none at all, which you heard. Yeah. In the demo, the yeah. other thing I really really love. Which is really cool, yeah. Is this eight bit thing? Yeah. Which basically, well, you heard. I'm just reading up there because so it's like a, a square wave of broken. Yeah, it, it basically. Or broken fuss sound, kind it, of. It you makes know what I mean? It sound, yeah, switch, oh, switch, switch me on. Yeah. Thank you. 
I mean, makes me want to be all atonal and kind of atonal. Reminds me of yeah, Queens of the Stone Age. It's really, kind of it's really cool because it's actually for 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 people that a, a fast pedal is can be sort of a a difficult thing to find the fast that you like. You know what I mean? With an amp, this can this can kind of oh, blimey, do everything. Oh, blimey, yeah. I mean, you know, it, having all those clip options, so you get really bold, um, like very little compression at all, just massive. Yeah, it's, it's almost like an overdrive up to something that's completely ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. Which and, is great. And it is completely ridiculous. And the filter is, um, just knocks a bit of top end off. Okay. It's just like a preset. How good does that sound? That's pretty cool. Massively missed no but, notwithstanding. But that is like an overdrive just on the border of fussing out. Well, interesting, one of the one of the one of my favourite sounds from a fuzz face, which is nothing like this, but At one all. of my favourite sounds from a fuzz face is when you stick it into a marshal yeah. and you turn the volume of the guitar down. Because I mean listen to that. So yeah. this, here's the fuzz right on uh well let's get rid of some of that eight bit. So maximum fuzz. Max fuzz. Quite a lot of volume. But It's just great because that is the sign of a good pedal, isn't it? When you can do that, and that then this could be all you need. You know what I mean? You yeah, just you have your little bit of drive there, and then you just give it some. You turn it up, hello. Yeah, like I said, I love that about fuzz faces. <laughs> yeah. And if you know, fuzz fans out there will know that as 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 kind of into it down the rabbit hole as we get about. There's 58 million transparent sounding overdrives out there. Yeah. And Pete and I and, and me and Dan, you know, we'll sit there and we'll talk about it all day long, you know, or oh, what do you think about this overdrive and that overdrive? Yeah. And everyone's out there, head in their hands, going, my God, they all sound the same. Yeah. You could make the same accusation of fuzz, but the fuzz people out there will know that that whole market is carved oh, The whole up. thing about germanium transistors and these transistors and that clipping and these. It's just as complex. It's In fact, it's probably more complex. Yes. Yeah. Loads of different options. Exactly. And I, you know. That's a great if fuzz you're, pedal. If you're into that kind of non, shall we say non-standard fuzz. If you're into standard fuzz, you want to be looking at a, a fuzz face for sort of 60s Hendrixy sounds. Yeah. And then you want to be looking at a big muff for the later bit. Yeah. Heavier, you know, heavier squash and all that. Yeah. That's where to start with fuzz, with those two yeah. things. And then once you start to get into it, you start getting into all kinds of other stuff. This has to be on your list. Definitely. For things to look that's at. That's one I really, I might. Yeah. Yeah, that's in really interesting to me, actually. Not that I use a lot of fuzz, but I can use that because it's kind of, it can be both. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You can get that ridiculousness. Do some ridiculous stuff. Well, Put the both on I or just something. Let's see if it's like. It's, 
it, it just it really makes me think of that Queens of Stone Age thing. I don't can't play that, but let's try. How it cleans up like that. Yeah. Anyway, that's great. Cluster fuss. Very, very good. And a great good. name as well. I like function effects. I yeah. hope we. I hope we see more from them. Yeah, that's, exactly. Uh, so there we go. Function yeah. effects. Cluster first. Third rail. Check them out. Links is below. Uh, and come and try them out in Anderson's. And uh, this was Guitar Paradiso on Anderson TV. I'm Pete. I'm Mick. And we will see you soon. Bye bye. Bye.